the multi-million pound redevelopment of the former Broen Moor munitions dump is set to take a huge step forward next month. The team behind the project to transform the derelict site into an eco-living community is putting the finishing touches to the master plan which will be released at the end of July. Nigel Catterson, chairman of the Derwent Forest Development Consortium, has been working to realize his vision for the largest brownfield site in northwest England for almost two decades. But the maverick businessman and environmentalist insisted the long-awaited project was now gathering pace with the imminent publication of this key document. He said, the master plan will determine all that happens on the site going forward. It will be the vehicle through which the vision for the site will be delivered. Investors would not be prepared to invest without an overall plan and strategy. The master plan is critical to further progress being made on the site. We are fortunate indeed to be working with like-minded associates who are prepared to develop the master plan at risk. This is a very significant commitment and would not have been made without a strong belief in its potential to be delivered. The plan will first be discussed with the key stakeholders including the county and Allerdale councils ahead of a public consultation. The redevelopment of the 1,050-acre site would not only include housing but a visitor attraction commemorating its history and a shopping complex. Mr. Catterson is also looking at the possibility of a red squirrel sanctuary on the site, a treetop hotel and a major sculpture that would be Cumbria's answer to the Angel of the North. In the meantime, the consortium is also inviting interested parties to make use of the site with its atmospheric Cold War-era buildings, as a film set to support redevelopment. Mr. Catterson sees the removal of asbestos from abandoned buildings as the only serious challenge to developing the land, with the cleanup cost coming with an estimated £3 million price tag. Following advice received from experts he also believes that the risk posed by mine shafts and unexploded munitions has been overstated. He said, I have been given to understand that the site housed large ordnance, which has been removed, so there is minimal risk in terms of hidden ordnance. There are 70 mine shafts on the site, most of which were bell pits, these well charted and are all properly capped. Ground on the southwestern margins of the site has already been cleared for housing by story construction, with 24 self-built plots up for grabs. The current anticipated price of the plots range in value from £80,000 to £140,000 depending on size, with each one fully service drainage, gas, water and electric plus telephone and internet connections. The first phase has planning consent for five house types and the money from this would be reinvested in the next phase. The munitions depot was opened in 1939 on the site of Big Hill Colliery and continued to be used by the Ministry of Defense until 1963 before being leased to the Federal Republic of Germany. From 1977 it was used by the U.S. for storage of armaments and from 1981 was formally adopted as a NATO storage site. It was decommissioned at the end of the Cold War and has lain abandoned since it was closed in December 1992. Allerdale Council bought the site from the Ministry of Defense for £1 in 2008 after which it was rebranded as Derwent Forest.